good morning children now you know what are fractions and how to add simple fractions if we are adding 3 by 5 and 1 by 5 then in 3 by 5 and 1 by 5 the denominators are same that is they are like fractions so we just add the numerators which are 3 and 1 so the answer is 4 by 5 but when we are adding 2 by 5 and 1 by 3 then in 2 by 5 and 1 by 3 the denominators are different and they are called unlike fractions so we need to make the denominators same that is make them like fractions to add them easily we cannot convert 3 to 5 or vice versa in this case we need to change both the denominators to a common number we multiply the denominator 5 by 3 to make it 15 then we multiply the denominator 3 by 5 to make it 15 then both the denominators will be equal to ensure that the value of fraction remains unchanged not just the denominator even the numerator needs to be multiplied by the same number and we get an equivalent fraction 2 by 5 becomes 2 into 3 divided by 5 into 3 after multiplying both the numerator and denominator by 3 we get an equivalent fraction with denominator as 15 1 by 3 becomes 1 into 5 divided by 3 into 5 after multiplying both the denominator and numerator by 5 we get an equivalent fraction with denominator as 15 so we get 6 by 15 and 5 by 15 now find what is 6 by 15 plus 5 by 15 as the denominators are same we have made them like fractions we just add so we get the answer as 11 by 15 correct children but this method of multiplying each fraction with others denominator to get a common denominator can be very tedious sometimes like when you add 11 by 15 and 7 by 12 we cannot convert 12 to 15 by multiplying it with any other whole number but if we try to multiply 15 by 12 or 12 by 15 then large numbers needed to be multiplied like 11 into 12 15 into 12 7 into 15 12 into 15 that's a lot of work is there any easier way to do it yes there is we already know how to find lcm which is least common multiple so the simplest way here is to find the lcm of two denominators which are 15 and 12 the multiples of 15 are 15 30 45 60 75 etc and the multiples of 12 are 12 24 36 48 60 72 etc here which is the least common multiple or lcm of 15 and 12 it is 60 Now how do we make the denominator same that is 60 let us see 11 by 15 first 4 times 15 is 60 so 
we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator of 11 by 15 by 4. So, 11 by 15 can be written as 11 into 4 divided by 15 into 4 which is equal to 44 by 60. Similarly, in case of 7 by 12, how to make the denominator equal to 60? 5 times 12 is 60. So we need to multiply the numerator and the denominator of 7 by 12 by 5. 7 by 12 would be 7 into 5 divided by 12 into 5 which is equal to 35 by 60. Look, using LCM is much simpler than multiplying the fractions with each other's denominators to arrive at a common denominator. So, using the LCM method, we arrived at a much simpler equivalent fraction of both the fractions. 11 by 15 is same as 44 by 60 and 7 by 12 is same as 35 by 60. Now we can add 44 by 60 and 35 by 60 as the denominators are same. 44 plus 35 is 79. So we get 79 by 60. But 79 by 60 is an improper fraction because the numerator is greater than the denominator. So let us convert it to a mixed fraction. For this we divide 79 by 60. 1 times 60 is 60. We subtract 60 from 79 and 19 is the remainder. So the answer is 1 which is the quotient and 19 by 60 which is remainder divided by divisor. So the answer is 1 19 by 60. Let us add 1 by 16 and 5 by 12 again the denominators are not same. They are unlike fractions. Let us try to find the LCM of 16 and 12 to make it simpler. So we find the LCM of the two denominators that is 16 and 12. The multiples of 16 are 16, 32, 48, 64 etc. And the multiples of 12 are 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, etc. Here, the least common multiple or the LCM of 12 and 16 is 48. Now, how do we make the denominator same? That is 48. Let us see 1 by 16 first. 3 times 16 is 48. So we need to multiply the numerator and denominator of 1 by 16 by 3. So 1 by 16 can be written as 1 into 3 divided by 16 into 3 which is equal to 3 by 48. Similarly in case of 5 by 12 how to make the denominator equal to 48? 4 times 12 is 48. So we need to multiply the numerator and denominator of 5 by 12 by 4. 5 by 12 would be 5 into 4 divided by 12 into 4 which is equal to 20 by 48. So, using the LCM method, we arrived at a much simpler equivalent fraction. 1 by 16 is same as 3 by 48 
and 5 by 12 is same as 20 by 48. Now we add 3 by 48 and 20 by 48. 3 plus 20 is 23. So the answer is 23 by 48. So now you know how to add fractions using LCM of the denominators when the denominators are not same. That is the fractions are unlike fractions. That is all for today. Bye bye children.